welcome to Biology 112. Today we're going to take a look at the metric system, make sure we understand how to use the ruler appropriately. All right, what we're looking at here is a smaller metric ruler and a larger metric ruler. This is a meter stick. Meter is the basic length in measuring distance or length when it comes to the metric system. What we see on both of these rulers and on the larger ruler we see the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Those are the centimeters. Anytime you have a printed number on the ruler, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., those are the centimeters. The individual little lines, and we're going to zoom in. When we zoom in on the individual lines in the ruler, those are the millimeters. So between each number, the centimeters, there are 10 individual millimeters. We're going to go ahead and measure something. If we were to measure the length, which is what the meter is all about, of a particular object, we're going to hold it up against the ruler. We're going to go to the end of that. Go to the end. And look that it goes to about the 10, 11, 12. Once again, that's centimeters, 12 centimeters long. And if we were to count in millimeters, there are 10 millimeters in each centimeter, so 12 times 10 would be 120 millimeters. We always want to make sure we are using the metric side of the ruler, not the English standard side. This is inches. This is the metric system. When we're looking at our smaller ruler, the metric side says the word metric on it. That's the side of the ruler that we use. We never use the inches as that is, once again, English standard. That's your metric system.